got it. Giant. Absolute giant. Double digit. Oh my god, it's a mega. Oh my god. No, 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 no. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are excited because we're on one of my favorite bodies of water here in the great state of Texas. We have phenomenal conditions today for bed fishing. I have not really done a ton of bed fishing this year other than like in Florida. I did catch that one over 10 in Florida on a bed and I did catch a pretty well, I've got some big fish you guys haven't seen over on the Guggen Channel. Now, I will say we have some of the best conditions we've had all year. I've had all year. We have less than five mile on winds, sun, like, like, well, you saw right there, and it's very clean water. Now, I did hear there might be some issues going on with this lake I'm currently at, so we're going to play that by ear, and it's going to be warm today. So we finally get to pop this jacket off, and hopefully we'll catch some big ones. Now, I'm not going to say that this swim bait bite's going to be super hot today with no wind, but I'm going to throw it around. And I'm also going to have, of course, that lunker log tied on and doink that thing around because I'm sure I'll get bit on that thing. I, I, you don't ever get to see this place really this calm in the spring, like ever, really anywhere in Texas. But looking down, we have 62 and a half degree water temps, so they should be munching somewhere. And uh, yeah, feel pretty good. Water clearly looks good. My God, these dangerous swim baits are amazing. Look at that thing. Oof. I'm not going to tell you guys this, but I may or may not have caught an absolute giant last week on this thing. That is a... There's a bass sunning. Now, would you guys like a shot to come down and fish with me this coming May to possibly catch your personal best? Well, it's very simple. And you guys also get a shot to win a boat. This week is Guggen Squad's, well, it's their fishing Black Friday event. You guys can save up to 75% off by using code LUNKERS at checkout. That's all you got to do. I'm going to randomly select somebody that uses code LUNKERS, and I'm going to fly you down on my dime. I'm going to give you guys airfare, hotel, food, everything. I'm going to take you fishing. If you'd like to bring somebody with you, you, you can. I don't care. Bring your buddy, your dad. I don't care. We're going to try to catch you guys your personal best on one of the best lakes here in Texas. And I've got a couple in mind for May. We might be throwing some top water. We're going to be throwing some flipping baits and we're going to be throwing some swim baits. So I hope you're excited. One of you guys is going to get selected that uses code LUNKERS. So make sure to go check out Guggen Squad's Fishing Black Friday event that's going on right now till like the end of the week. You guys don't have long to get selected. Use code LUNKERS, save up to 75% off the tackle you love anyway. So this is me giving back to you guys. Thank you so much. So make sure use code LUNKERS at checkout, and I'm going to select somebody to come down and fish with me on an all-expenses-paid fishing trip. It's going to be a good time. And you have a shot to win a boat. So make sure you're going to give it a shot. I do love you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Holy crap, he came and ate it so quick. <laughs> There's another one down there too that just swam out. That was that was actually really cool. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun already. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Up there just sunning up inside that grass. My God, she darted out and ate it so quick. <laughs> uh, well, actually, you know what? Since this will be the first submission into that tournament we got going on, the Guggen Spring Cleaning Tournament on the Fishing Chaos app. Yeah, let's do this one first, huh? So this one's probably going to go about 19 inches, if I would assume. And the thing is, you get to rotate out your... You have to have five of your best fish in this tournament. And it goes by length, so... I mean, it should be at least 19. Just get ourselves on the board. Oh, no, it's not. It's 17. Ugh, 17. Come on, baby girl. It's okay. You're just, you're first up here. All right. First fish of the day. Kind of a fun way to do it. Oddly enough, I forgot to actually enter myself into the Guggen tournament, so I'm having them do it for me now because I'm an idiot. <sighs> well, there's first one. Comes on the old lunker log. That was kind of cool to see though. Heard us up there kind of getting all warm. Now, yesterday I actually went out and I went and fishing on a lake that, well, it was like the first lake I'd ever fished in a YouTube video. So I went back out there yesterday and let's just say it was kind of a dink fest. I caught multiple fish flipping and then I had, I did stick one good one, but other than that, it was like, ah, it's blowing like 25. I couldn't get a big fish to eat. So I drove like three hours out here to try to see if I can see any on bed. And right now I have not seen any over the last hour and a half. No beds, no nothing. But I, I mean, that was a good indication. At least there's some up shallow. See like, that looks like a bass too, right? 
Or am I crazy from this far? Tell me that's a bass. That is, it's a pretty big bass. It's moving to erratic. Oh no, it's pushing stuff off. Oh good lord, that might be a bass. Oh it is, it's pushing bait off. Oh man, that's a big one. Hold on a sec, let's see here. Let's see. What is it doing? Yeah, this isn't uh, what I was anticipating at all. It's probably, it's kind of crazy. It's probably the worst spawn season ever for me so far, other than that big one I caught. I should've just stayed in Florida, apparently. This is crazy, dude. I have not seen a fish on a bed in Texas in a week with 65 degree water temps. How good do you think Eagle Mountain is? Oh my, what in the world? I just had one eat it at the boat legitimately there we go look at that there's a bass there's one justin rackley ate it right at the boat when I, I got oh my god i got a fish i got i got me some bass i got a bass and he was sitting on uh yeah, yeah I, I, he was just waking up i like that no he was he was on the uh he was on a point leading in don't want a whole wacky word okay no stop i mean this one I don't know, this one's really healthy, so I don't even know if that one spawned yet. I don't even think that one spawned yet. Hmm. All right, well, that was super random. Let's we'll see if we can catch another one on one of these. Maybe maybe, maybe there's just not time yet. Maybe, maybe I've been, maybe I'm ahead of the curve by a couple weeks. That can't be the case. Okay. Oh, there's another one on a point. There's back to back. Okay. All right. Okay, look at this. There's another one, bud. Yep. Okay, back to back main lake points. That's okay. All right. All right. Now we might be looking at some pre spawn stuff. Came here to do some spawn fishing. Now this might be a okay. Okay. Yeah, I might have to. I mean, I was thinking about that on the swim bait. The only thing is, I don't have any wind at all. <laughs> I might just bebop around with this dang wacky rig, bud. Get the bandito bug out and start really daubing on it. So while I was on the phone with Rackley, I started pitching. We were talking about why they weren't, like what was going on here? So I don't know if that thing's fully kicked on or if there's something going on with this, you know, you have this moon phase, which is about to get super wacky here in a couple days with the solar eclipse. But I don't know, there was a wave that for sure came up at some point. I don't know when, but right now it didn't seem like there's a ton up there. It is now 12.09 and I just started catching fish and guess what? On a main length point leading in to a flat. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna rig up a Neko rig, a little Neko rig. We're gonna grab a Bandito bug, we're gonna flip some wood and we're gonna be throwing a glide bait around some docks. We're gonna switch up everything here midday because I don't know, I mean, I'm not giving up on the bedding stuff, but as you can see, I just caught a two, three fish within like a five minute span, flipping around a lunker log on some really deep points. So we're gonna change it up a little bit to get that bait down there just a tad bit deeper. So if you guys do not know, the pinna worm actually just launched. So if you guys have not picked this thing up, you guys need to go to goosequad.com and pick yourself up the new 5.5 inch pinna worm. It's a finesse worm. It's, it's really cool. It's a floating worm. You can throw a weightless over beds and just in shallow grass, and it works really, really well. I think John and Rackley went out a couple weeks ago, and they caught a couple over eight just throwing this thing uh, weedless, and they absolutely crushed it. But today, we're going to be throwing this thing Neko. Mr. Neko or Nico. There we go. Look at that. All right. Oh my god, this thing is getting... Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to rig one of those up. I just took all that time to rig it up. Rogue it off.
Mm -hmm. That's kind of random. Is that fish on a bed there? Oh my god. That was a giant. Okay. Okay, we may have to redo and rethink what is going on in our life. This is super random. If there's if, if they're betting where I'm at right here, this would be the first time in my life I've ever caught a fish betting the way that these last two have been. I've ne never done this before. This is super random. I mean, that's like 90 foot. That would be crazy. There's these little isolated big rocks out here that are very hard to like kind of see what's on them. They just look kind of dingy, but I just saw a mega football on that one, right? So, oh, okay. Well, that's going to be kind of hard to remember. Let's think about this point rock rock with log thing yeah bless i would have never thought that just thinking um okay oh, God. Okay, so I've been bebopping around a little bit and I've seen a couple things. I have seen one giant bass that was suspended on a rock out here in like 10 foot of water, which kind of caught me a little bit off guard and kind of got me spinning a little bit. I'm gonna rig up a um, one of the pinner worms and I think I'm gonna put on a weighted wacky rig because I, I, I don't know, I, I think I can get, I think I can get bit pretty good flipping that stuff in this deeper water, maybe if they're on these isolated rocks. I mean, this is weightless. I'm gonna keep this on up clearly, but I need to actually rig this thing up with some, God, I need to put some everything on this thing. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a weighted pin -a worm on this son of a gun, and we're gonna go back through and try to see if some of those fish I saw earlier might eat. They've got me spinning though. I can tell you guys that much right now. My mind is going like a million miles a minute. Oh my God, there, there it is. There it is. No, 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 no. It was a big one, I knew it was big. I knew it was big. Oh, I knew it was big. Oh, God bless. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, she's good, she's good, she's good. There we go. No, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, that just caught me way off guard, by the way. I was like, kind of like second guessing myself. Nope, she was down there. Oh, it's good fish, healthy fish. Okay, all right, we're just gonna keep playing this game. Come on. Pin a worm. So what I'm talking about, boys and girls. There we go. Thought I saw her walking off. Ah, <laughs> walking off, sliding off this rock right here. Oh, she just barely popped off. Look at that. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna do good in this tournament. That's gonna be good for that derby, ain't it? Long one. Post spawn is all can be. Look at that. Love it. Right here. Eight foot of water. Saw her slide off. I love that. There we go, baby. Okay, so we actually have our tournament running right now and it's all length, like I showed you guys earlier. That one, I'm gonna enter it. I think it was like the one from earlier. I think it was, what was it, 17 inches? Yeah, 17. Hopefully that one will call out. You get five fish. It's running this entire month. If you guys like this, please let me know in the comment section below. We can run another one for you guys. There's $30,000 worth of stuff up for grabs. Now this one, oh, come on. If I can grab the dang thing. Come on, let me grab your mouth, open it up. All right. This one's gonna do pretty well just because of how long it is. Definitely female spawned out. She could be sitting on a bed down there for all I know. I don't know what the length is. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. 
You know what? Let me go ahead and just give her a little dip. All right. What you gonna go, girl? I know you're gonna be over 20. Oh, are you giving me 21? Make sure she's touching, yeah. Oh, she's over 21 and a half. There we go. 21.5. Look at that. Let's take a picture of her, huh? Oops. 21 and a half. Let's go ahead and submit it. Oh, okay, okay. I'll get you back in. I'll get you back in. There we go. We got one submitted. Am I am I on the uh submit catch? Did I do it? I did. We're good. So we got one of our entries in 21 and a half inches. That's gonna probably stay. I mean, that's a pretty good fish, unless I catch a bunch of like 23, 24 inch, which would be fantastic. There we go, girl. All right, thank you for the fight. All right, there we go. We might've figured something out here. Maybe, that's a little strange. I've never had that happen. I got 68 foot of water there and a rock here. She just slid on up. Man, I'm sitting here looking through this. Ernesto Mendoza, where are you at, buddy? Look at this guy. He's got a 22 and a half. This guy's been crushing it. Crushing it. 22 and a half, 21, 20, 20, 17 and a half. He's in first right now. All right, Ernesto. I'm coming after you, bud. Coming after you, bud. Actually, I think I don't think he's in my little region. There's multiple different regions. Actually, I don't win anything, but I'm gonna I'm in the southwest. So I gotta beat Thomas Ross, who's in Georgia right now. He's got 22 and a half. Ooh. Ooh, see, I see that 21 inch one's gonna do. I think it's going to be sticking around a little while. But there it is, guys. That was actually the second cast with this thing. Uh, this is a weighty, uh, excuse me, weighted wacky rig. This is the new Pinnerworm 5.5 inch. You could throw it weightless, which is phenomenal. You could throw it weighted. In this situation, I'm fishing a little deeper. But it's an absolutely phenomenal uh, finesse bait. You need to check it out. It just launched here on GoogleSquad.com. Use code LUNKERS at checkout to save an additional 10%. Look at that thing. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, there he is. I thought I was seeing some fish up here sunning. Okay. Tossed it. Came out of nowhere. I saw a pretty big one a second ago. Man, I wonder if I should go try to find some more of this grass like this morning. That wasn't a very big fish, but the other one I saw was probably about four pounds. Came up, it was just suspended. Now I'm kind of wondering what is going on here. Kind of sliding back up inside this little, I would call this, uh, Kissimmee grass or pencil, that's not Kissimmee grass, excuse me, pencil reeds. I feel like I'm still trying to put the piece of this thing together. I, I've caught a fish deeper. I'm seeing some that are moving up shallow. What is going on here? Oh my God. There was some back in there, look at that. He's still hung up, still see him. There he goes. Come on, get off of there, baby. Wow. Never in my life would I have thought that. Like seriously, never would have done that. These reeds are so damn shallow. It's about to jump. There you go. Get yourself undone for me. Get your, get your, oh, high stick the rod. That's how you break a rod, me. Well, that was bound to happen with how many times that this has been smashed and stepped on and me. The first one of these most up broken oh well those rods are three years old couldn't tell you how many times john b has stepped on those damn rods too well there we go there's one high stick them in here and busted a rod got to give her props that at least lasted about three years and god knows how many fish catches man this is weird there's another bass swimming out of here how many fish are up in these reeds right now hmm okay maybe we should add this catch huh We'll add this catch. What do you think? Probably about 15, 16 inches. We'll go ahead and add it though. Add it to my my list of catches. I gotta give me something to cull out. You know what I mean? All right, where are you gonna be at, baby girl? No, oh, a little longer than I thought. Another one that's actually 17 and a half inches. Oh, cool. 17 and a half incher. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in there. I don't know, maybe this thing was on a bed and I can't see it. I might have to, oh look, there's another one right there. Huh, not a big one, but there's another one. Okay, well, you know, we're gonna toss this one back in. Maybe we need to go mess around. Yeah, look at that, the little bass is coming out. This is so weird. Kinda makes me wonder how many bass are back in here. Look, oh yeah, look at them. I wonder how many fish that go-to rod has caught over the last three years. <laughs> I always kinda wonder that. 
I sincerely don't break rods very often. I mean, I, you guys would know how many rods I broke. I don't ever not put them in videos, but that was kind of a, a little bit of my fault and also probably a little bit of getting stepped on, just being rough with them, to be honest with you. All right, we're gonna see if we can replicate this just a little bit. The only thing is these edges of these reeds are in like four foot of water. I don't really know why. I mean, I, I, to be seriously, I would have never guessed in a million years in this lake, there would be fish in these reeds right now. Never, ever, I, I don't know, I don't know. But I will tell you, we're gonna see if we can replicate this again and maybe even go flip some more. I mean, I, I guess this is this is a weird day. This is a very strange day. Catching wacky rigs, weightless, not super random, flipping a bandito bug, I mean reeds on this lake, very strange. There he is, yep. Oh my golly, are you kidding me? Never in a million years would I have thought this. This thing's fighting like heck too. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is actually, this is interesting and also a lot of fun. Oh God, come on now. These fish are fresh. There you go, there's your job. All right. You got a little bit of weight behind you, huh bud? A little weight behind you, all right. God, there's another one right there okay oh there's another one right there oh man these ones might have just started to move up or something god i would have never guessed this in a million years that's why there's another one right there moving and it's bigger than this one okay all right so these edges over there these reeds on the outside edges they don't have enough water on them these ones in the very back they do I think it's giving him something to spawn on. <sighs> I guess if he's 17, we'll add him to our uh, our tournament deal. If he's 17, I don't know if he is. Yeah, he is, another 17, okay. I'll give myself something to cull out throughout the month, huh? All right, I've added, uh, I've added a couple fish. Man, that thing is thin. Feel good about it, kind of enjoying you guys kicking my butt over there so far. I promise you, I'm gonna come back though. I got 20 something days. I mean, look at that fish right there. They're up here in the shallows moving up. We gotta stumble across a big one back in these reeds. God, I don't, no one on this lake is fishing reeds. I would have never came to this lake and said, all right, I'm gonna go look at the reeds. They're in like two foot of water. Oh yeah, that's a bass. That's a big bass. Yeah, it is. What's going on here? I think I see something. That's a big bass. Yeah, that's a big bass. Oh yeah, that's a big, big bass. Oh my God. Oh, good Lord, that's a big bass. Oh man, it's on a bed, I believe. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's a big bass. So I'm not entirely sure that this fish is going to eat, but this is a, this is a very large fish, like pretty damn big fish. It seems like it's kind of an area that there could possibly be a bed. I'm not a hundred percent though, but I'm, I've got a pattern running right now on this lake. And I feel like if I go and find the stuff I'm looking for in the same depth I'm needing, probably going to find some fish. This one's, this one's, this is a really big fish. Let me just see what we got going on here. I think it was somewhere right here doing big circles. So I don't know if it's locked on anything. I think there could be a bed right here. Maybe. Sun is not in my favor. Oh yeah, that's big. That's big. Again, I don't know if it's catchable. Oh my God. It's looking at my bait already. Oh my God. That is a big fish. That is a big, that's a big fish. This is like one of those kind of fish where I gotta make sure like everything is correct. Like when I stick the, stick this son of a gun, where's the most likely path it's going to go so I do not break off. Like this is a really big fish. And we're gonna have to get some distance on this thing. It did come back though. I, it kind of turned a little bit. So I think it might be locked on this bed. It's just not like super tight. The one thing I don't want it to do He's going to there. Do I want to flip on the braid? I might want to flip braid. This fish is that big where I'm like literally contemplating flipping braid right now. 
floor carbon inside the thing is if i stick him and he goes out this way we're good if i stick him and he goes this way we are screwed this floor carbon will not rip through that stuff like that Giant, absolute giant, double digit. Oh my God, it's a mega. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Holy Oh my god. Oh. It's a giant, giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart's racing. This is huge. This is huge. This could be my new personal best. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, no, no. Stop doing that. Man, my heart's racing here, boys. I mean, this thing's huge. Is she ready? Come on, be ready. Come on, baby girl. You're so big. Oh my God, I got her. 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 Oh, I knew it was big, but I didn't know it was that big. Oh my God, that is an old bass. That is an old bass, boys. Bandito bug again. That's what I'm talking about. God, I knew it was a big fish. Oh my God. Had me wrapped up in the poles and everything. Oh my God. I don't know if this is going to be my personal best, but... I think we got another double digit under our belt for the year. Oh, I switched over to green pumpkin purple. Oh my God, she's heavy. She's old and heavy. Oh my God. Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo. Oh, we did it again, boys. Oh. All right, here we go, boys. Let's see if we got one. We got to crack 10-6. I don't know if she's going to crack 10-6. But I pray to God she cracks 10 six. <laughs> it's been years. I just hope she cracks 10. I want to add what number eight to the list, two for the year. Oh, we gotta hey, we gotta put it up on our scale or a little uh ruler, huh? So damn long, it barely fits inside the tank. All right, here we go. I know, girl, it's almost over with, I promise. <sighs> Eleven two. Eleven two. Eleven two. Eleven two. Eleven two. Eleven two, baby. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll let you breathe. We'll let you breathe. Oh my God. Do personal best. Eleven pounds. Two ounces, folks. <laughs> Let's get a measurement for the old derby, and then get her back in the water. 11 pounds, three ounces. God, I feel so lucky right now. That's huge. All right, baby girl. Oh, oh my God. Doesn't even fit. I don't even have a measuring board big enough for. 
How about that? 26 plus inches. All right, here we go. Now no one can say anything. Some people have already apparently have challenged some of my photos already, which is not too shocking from people that fish tournaments. Look at that. There she is, baby. Bye, baby girl. Oh man, oh man, oh man, what am I doing with my life? Let's just go be bopping around for a sec, huh? I don't even know if you guys can hear me if there's a bunch of water in here or not, but let's let's just take a quick little gander. I don't even know what we're doing anymore. Fish? Yep. There we go. Ooh, it might be a good one. Oh, it is a good one. It is a good one. This might actually call out one of my one of my other ones that I have. That's a good one. Came back in here not even thinking. Just trying to change up something maybe for tomorrow. And here's another good fish right here. Another good fish. This one's on the lunker log. Whoa, she just jumped on the other side of the boat. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Should be over 17 inches. Because that will call out one of mine. Oh yeah, good fish. Putting together a pretty good little bag today, huh? There we go. There we go. It's gotta be over 17. Lunker log, once again, green pumpkin blue. Oh my God. Yeah, that's definitely, oh my God, that has spawned out as all can be. Long, old, long fish. Oh geez, think I can make any more noise. Let's see here. I think I gotta call out a 17 inch fish in this tournament. And guess what? 18 and a half or 18.25 actually. So I've got it submitted and right now I'm sitting at 100.25 inches for my fish on here. So I'm actually really, oh wow, this guy has 112 inches. This guy in Florida has been crushing it, dude. Look at you, Ted Jansen. And he's in my region too. I'm actually in third place in my region. I'm coming after you, Ted. Ted. My guy's been at it today. 21 and a half is the smallest fish. Way to go, dude. My guy's crushing it. Anybody that's involved in that tournament, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I think there's probably well over a thousand people entered. I actually don't know how many people have entered, but all you guys that have done it, thank you so much. We're gonna do it again and make the prize pool even bigger. So if you guys missed out this time, don't worry. You're gonna have another chance here in the next month or two to join the online derb. This one's up for, there's $30,000 in cash and prizes. I'm not gonna, of course, take home anything. If I win, I'm just gonna, it's just, thumbs up way to go rob it'll go to the next person but it's more or less just to have fun with you guys and to compete you know you can go against me john rackley and everybody else i think this is probably a pretty good little pocket if you want to do some scoping around it's kind of muddy and you can kind of see them kind of suspended around these trees out here but you know what just doing a little bit of research for tomorrow's video now, for some reason, the audio was a little bit on the fritz. Literally, we had none. I think I think something's going on here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out Goo Goo Squad's Black Friday fishing event that's going on right now. You guys can save up to 75% on everything site-wide, so make sure to take advantage of that and get a shot to come down and fish it with me. And you also get a shot to win a boat, so it's kind of funny. You do all that. So make sure to do it. It'll be linked in the top description. I do love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later on another episode here on Luckers TV. <laughs>